Hi everyone, I make templates in Excel and PowerPoint to help people get ahead in their careers and get the most out of their business. This one in particular is the Six Thinking Hats. The Six Thinking Hats was created by Edward de Bono and it is one of the best ways for brainstorming ideas in your team to come up with new product ideas or to come up with new business ideas. The Six Thinking Hats will help you go through all of the range of the different options or the different ways of looking at a problem or looking at opportunities and help you come up with the most robust ideas and robust solutions. But how do we describe and how do we use these different hats? Let's have a look. The white hat is the one that we start with and this is purely the facts and the figures about the idea. This is what we absolutely know for sure and this is something that we can prove with data uh, or information or measurements that we can actually see, feel and touch. These are just the facts, no emotions and no anything else and this is uh, what we put in all of our ideas for the white hat. But the next one allows us to delve into a little bit more of our creative side. These are our emotions. So this is only what we feel. So emotions, purely subjective. We don't have to justify these. We can say how we feel about the idea or the, in, or the, the new product or the new piece of information or anything that we're thinking about or brainstorming about. How do we feel about it? Without the need to justify, we can put it all down there. And that's still very valid information when we're figuring out our product. But after that, we get to look at the black hat. And the black hat is, uh, is, looks at risk. So these are all of the risks and the dangers, anything that could go wrong. This is what we want to brainstorm. You know, what are the bad things that could happen? What are the threats to our idea or the, you know, the things that we're brainstorming about? What are the risks? Write down all the bad things that can happen. Now is our chance. But we don't want to just look at the bad things, of course. We want to be optimistic as well. And so that's where the yellow hat comes into it. When we're brainstorming with our yellow hat on, we can be optimistic, constructive proposals for making things happen. How can we do this? What, uh, what would we do if, you know, if nothing could go wrong? Let's figure out a way forward. What are our ideas for making this happen? And then with the green hat, we get to take it a step further. This is our creative ideas, thinking outside the box, going absolutely crazy with, you know, with, uh, with creative ideas. And, and if, what, we could, what could we do if we could do anything? So if we could not fail, what would we do? Write all these ideas down and that is for our green hat. And then lastly, we take all of those ideas together and we summarize all of those ideas and we conclude it all with next steps and a way forward based on all of this. So with the facts, with our emotions, with things that could go wrong, with constructive ways to, to move forward and with blue, you know, with blue sky thinking, with creative ideas, if we could not fail, and then tying it all together right there at the end. And when we're brainstorming in this way, now we've got a really robust way of looking at the world that's covered as many angles as we possibly can. Really quickly, there's two things. I'll show you how to make this priority. So if we take the priority and select all of these together, let's go to conditional formatting because we want to change this so that it highlights the ones that are the highest priority. We'll go to our new rule and we'll say, format all cells based on their value. So the lowest value, uh, maybe we can have that as a, uh, an orange and maybe the highest value we can have that, or maybe we'll do it the other way around. So highest as orange and lowest as a green, for example, that can be the ones that we really, really want. And now if we have this idea as a priority one um, or two or three, then the, the highest priority will be those green colors. We'll just just select these as well, put them in the center and make them a little bit bigger so they stand out, maybe make them a nice dark gray and that way they're looking, looking very, very good. But now we have a beautiful way to brainstorm and that is the six thinking hats and how to use them in your business and how to create a template to use in your business as well. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.